Okay, guys, welcome back to the channel. Sorry it's been a while. I was just trying to find out what would be my next build. And I came across an amazing idea of building an Ender Dragon cage. Yes, that's right. An Ender Dragon cage. It is possible. And all you need is some obsidian. A door of your choice. I'm using the iron door. If you use the iron door, then you need a button. I like the stone button. You need some redstone, a redstone torch. I'll get to that in a minute. Some torches, cobblestone, or any block of your choice. I like the cobblestone. Uh, glass, and an end crystal. You will also need some sea lanterns. And some half slabs of... Make sure if you, when you're using the half slabs, make sure it's the same um, kind as the block of your choice. I, since I'm using the cobblestone, I'm using the cobblestone slab. Now, in order to actually build this and have enough room so he doesn't break out, you're going to need a 50 block by 50 block area that's 16 blocks tall. So let's get started, shall we? first you're going to want to do is just go along the edges just like this. All along all four sides. And it's easier to do this in creative so you don't have to worry about not having enough um, plus it's, it's just a whole lot easier. Okay, so now that you have that layer down, you're going to want to go put your block of choice for the second layer in all four corners. And then run your glass just like this. Now what you want to do is you want to find out where you want to put your door. I want to put mine right here. And you're going to want to break that out just like that. On all the other sides, you just want one solid line of glass. Just like that. Now what you want to do for the third layer is just run your block of choice the whole way around. And you want to keep doing that until you have 16 blocks off the ground. For the sake of the, uh, the video, time, I'm not going to do that. Okay, so it should look like that. There's your little little viewing area. Okay, now the reason you want the sea lanterns and the half slabs is for a little bit of lighting. So what you want to do is you want to Go down two blocks, put your sea lantern in, leave a 3x3 three three area uh, around the door, and then just do that the whole way around. When you get all your all your sea lanterns in, what you want to do is you want to go on to the top and put in your half slabs. That way it looks seamless. Now you might be wondering... What's up with the uh, the redstone and the torch? Well, there's also one final thing that you need to get this working right, and that is a command block, block, <coughs> command block, excuse me, command block that's set on repeat. And to get a command block, you do slash give at s 
C O M M and press tab and then you press enter. Now what you want to do is you want to dig down three and then I like to hide it. But you, you can put you can honestly put it anywhere. But I like I like to hide it right underneath. And as you can see, it's right there. So what you want to do is you want to put the command block there, the redstone there, and then the torch there. Now, this is not set to repeat, so in order to change that, you actually have to be in creative mode for this. And you right click it, block type, put it on repeat, and then this is the command that you need. You need TP at E bracket type equals n I can't spell dir dragon bracket and then you want to put the coordinates that is dead center in the little cage now this can be a little tricky since it's so big but the easiest way is just to split it in half like so okay that's exactly half and then split it in half on the one side again like that and then you can uh, you can find the center point is right here after you find that you can break all of the other ones like so okay now you're going to want to have show coordinates on like I do um, if you can look up on the, the top left corner you can see me and then underneath me it says position those are your coordinates that is your center coordinate and what you're going to want to do in order to actually have the ender dragon inside the cage and not you know glitching out from the floor you're going to actually want to have a block a single block underneath uh, yourself when you get the coordinates as you can see if I take that out my X the 63 the X core or sorry the Y coordinate goes down but when I go up the block goes up so this this block right here you don't really need um, you just need it for the sake of the coordinates and what I'm gonna do I have a very bad memory I'm gonna take a screenshot of the coordinates okay now what you want to do is you want to go over here and let me open up that screenshot um, here you go and then you're going to want to right click this and put in the coordinates 320864 and -207 okay and that's the command that you need now what you can go ahead and do is just fill this in and let's go ahead and place our door so Betsy here doesn't get in out of the way place your button there and your button there now you may be wondering well how do you get the ender dragon there, there's no way to hatch the egg at least not in this game so and, and the, you know you don't have a spawn egg so how do you get the ender dragon well that's easy all you have to do is use this command summon ender press tab twice and hit enter Ooh. 
oven. There we go. It's a little glitchy sometimes, but I got it. I got it fixed. And now the Ender Dragon will stay right there, and I'll fix the damage later. Now the other the other thing you want to have, if you don't already have it, is game rule, command block output. False. Okay. If you don't have that set on your world, then it'll just constantly, um, it'll just constantly say stuff in the, in the chat box and it's just annoying. Now, the Ender Dragon, if you actually punch him, can take damage. In the end, he has the Ender Crystals, these things to heal him and I pressed the wrong button so since he takes damage here because we don't have him we need to have them and all you want to do is you need eight obsidian four ender crystals all you want to do is just on all four corners go up with two obsidian And then at the very top of the obsidian, you want to place an end crystal. Now, no matter what, he will always be healing. And you can see the little particles right there, that means he's healing. Now you can take, now he can take damage and he'll stay alive. What I like to do for the roof is I like to have like a little glass roof. So what I'm gonna do is finish this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Dude just never flew away. He was getting annoying anyway. So let's just fix this. And if you want. After you have the end crystals in, if you want to kill just the ender dragon, just to stop the noise, um, and you don't want to have any damage done to your cage, you're going to want to do kill at E type ender dragon. If you do kill at E, um, it'll actually explode the end crystals, 
and it will actually damage the cage. I've actually done that before in my test world. So let's just make the, the frame for the roof right now. Like so. Now all of this area will be filled in with cobblestone. You don't want to see that. So what I like to do is I like to take my glass and uh, make a glass roof. And for the sake of time, I'm just going to use commands to do this. So what you want to do, what I'm going to do anyway, is I'm going to go right here, get a screenshot, kill that, and then I'm going to go over here, and do the same thing, and then I'm going to open up the screenshots don't need that one. and then I'm going to kill that and fill 32 32 78 negative 230 Thirty-one, eighty-five, seventy-eight, negative one, eighty-three, class. There you go. And then I'll go from here. Take a screenshot of that. And then I'm going to go. up here take a screenshot of that open that up close that and that okay and I'm going to go to this one 3186 66 I'm going to go up and fill 3186 66 182 3232 78 negative 182 cob tab enter there you go and now we have a wall and then you're going to want to do that <clears throat> for the other three walls and then the final thing you want to do is just put your torches all along the wall like so you just want it on the top row and then you're going to want to do that all the way around so it will be lit up
And I'm sorry if my voice sounds a little horrible. I don't really feel that great. Move, pig. We got a sore throat. Really hurts. Okay. So as I've mentioned before, once you get your sea lanterns in, you want to go with your half slabs along the top. Make sure that when you're speeding through, it actually goes on the top. Like so. Okay. Now let's go and fill in these other walls. So let's get a screenshot here. Go up to here. Get another screenshot. Open that up. It's this one. <clears throat> Excuse me, and this one. Okay. Go up, slash fill. No. No. And here. 3184.66. 3184.66. Negative 184. 3184 78 negative 230 3184 78 negative 230 C O B B tab enter and there you have wall number two And when you're placing the torches, make sure on this wall and that wall, make sure it's one block away um, at both ends for these torches on this wall and that wall. Oh, print scan. <clears throat> so I can get a screenshot. And I'm going to come up to here. And do that one more time. Open those up. And 3185.66.231. Slash fill. 3185.66. Negative. 231. And thirty-two, thirty-two, seventy-eight, two, thirty-one. Thirty-two, thirty-two, seventy-eight, negative two, thirty-one. C O B B tab enter. Boom. And we have a wall. And then one final time, and then all four walls will be built, and so will the cage. Now, the other thing is, what you're going to want to do, is you're going to want to put more sea lanterns in, especially in the middle. 
um, because it will actually be dark there and it'll be dark enough for mobs to spawn in so let's go ahead and open these um, screenshots <clears throat> sorry I had to think of the word there a little glitch there okay slash film don't need that don't need that 32 and I'm saying 229 when it's negative 229 because it's so much easier to remember 32 33 78 183 32 33 too many numbers 78 negative I forgot 183 COBB tab enter boom okay now if you do time set night if I can spell you will see that all right here mobs can actually spawn in so what you're going to want to do is just like on the outer ring you're going to want to put an inner ring. Go down two. And put your sea lantern in. Now the Ender Dragon will not attack you in the overworld. Only only in the end. So and he's like really super noisy. So only, you know, build build this cage in in a place where you know, you're you're not going to be around for a while if you can't handle the noise. The only downside is you will always have that boss bar at the top until the ender dragon dies. But the whole point of building this cage is to keep the dragon as a pet. Because who doesn't want a pet dragon, you know? And then... If you still have dark areas, dark enough for a mob, in the very, very middle, what you're going to want to do is put yet another ring right in the very middle. And because you're using sea lanterns, the torches are only there for decoration. And a little bit of light up at the top. Mostly for decoration.
and there you go now any mobs that come in around here well they're going going to get blasted away by the ender dragon let's go ahead and kill this pig because he's in the way shouldn't be here there we go and let's go ahead and summon the ender dragon in one last time summon ender tab tab dragon there we go and there's your ender dragon cage I gotta fix my door There you go. Here's what it looks like from up top. And there's the Ender Dragon cage. And the cool thing is, you can view it from the outside on any of the sides. Hope you enjoyed this build. Hope you love this build. And I will see you on the next one. Have a good day.